Hi folks, welcome back to the B29 restoration project. Here, you're looking at the fiberglass nose cone back inside of its mold. It slipped in quite nicely. And like I said on the previous video, I've got this put in here. That way I can lay up some carbon fiber here on the lower uh, portion of it where the nose gear door area will be. Uh, really the only reason for doing this is so I can cut the nose gear door out of this and use that cutout as the gear door, assuming you can cut it very nicely. And also you want to add some extra uh, stiffness and rigidity to the edges of that cutout for when you put your gear door hinges and all, so there's not a lot of flex. <coughs> so what I'm doing is I've got four layers of 1K carbon. Well, this is actually a 1K, 3K hybrid. It's got 3K in the, the length of the roll and then 1K in the width. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one layer with the 3K running the length of the door. And then I'm doing another layer with the with it on a bias. So the 3K will be kind of 45, and then 1K will be 45. And then the next layer is gonna be also on the bias, but it's gonna be flipped to where the 3K and the 1K create an X. And that gives you some torsional rigidity. And then there'll be one final layer of the carbon fiber with the, the 3K yarns running the length of it. And then it will all be covered with peel ply. And the pill ply is just to, to smooth over the edges and give us a nice ready to bond surface when it's done. So all the fabric layers are cut out. The, mold, the, the part is back inside the mold. Now I just gotta mix up some epoxy. So I'm gonna get to work doing that and what's gonna probably take me 30, 45 minutes, we're gonna take you about five. You just saw me pull the uh, the nose back out of the mold after we put the carbon fiber reinforcements here on the bottom for the nose gear door area. Um, compared to before, it is very strong. Um, no more flex in this area at all, which would be perfect for the gear door portion of it. Um, you can see the airplane has no longer got landing gear on it. I went ahead and pulled those off just because it's easier to, to work on the snow section and sand on things without having it want to roll everywhere, especially since it just barely fits on this table. Um, yesterday, after laying up the carbon fiber area, I came in here and I drilled the holes for these 3 8 inch retention dowels. Um, there's five here and then we have two up here at the front. The two here in the front actually go into the maple and the plywood retract rail so they kind of help pin that in place that'll help prevent any um any forces that are trying to like rip the nose gear backwards from ripping the front of that rail off so that'll be nice and sturdy um, i still need to get in here with some tri stock in a couple of areas and get the rest of this glued in how i want it done but it's it's more or less structurally sound how it is um here on the back i mentioned previously that the fit wasn't perfect. I went ahead and I sanded that down. It's high here, obviously, where the brown is from the laser cut part is on the low area. I'm not gonna worry about 
filling in the low spots with balsa and sand and all that what i'm going to do is the fiberglass nose cone is actually going to uh, extend back over the original portion of the fuselage a few a few inches probably two or three and then what i'll do is i'll just get some thickened epoxy and i'll put it here in the gap to fill that same thing goes on this side and then the bottom as well it'll overlap a little bit and then it'll get glued on and then a whole lot of body work to do um once all that was done the frame that's sitting back there on the the nose i also got that put on it's just loosely tack glued together right now but i elevated it off this uh off this floor the thickness of some 20 thousandths g10 and I did that when I was drilling the holes for the dowels. The dowel holes were just slightly undersized, but now there's just a little bit of a gap between the two floors. That way you can get a saw blade in there. This fits on here nicely. It's also been sanded down to the same shape. Now it's time to start getting the, the fiberglass nose fit to the forward portion here. Um, the first plan, or the first thing that I'm gonna do is get the nose glued to the frame structure and then once that is nicely uh, positioned where i want it to be i will pull it all out well i'll get it tack glued and then i'll pull the whole nose off and then i will go around and i will glue as much as i can around the perimeter with either either some high saw or some just some thickened epoxy that i'll mix up let that cure and then i'll go through around the seam on the edges where it's going to split and I will make little register marks with a flush saw just to mark where it's going to be. And then I will come on here and somehow figure out how I'm going to glue the nose to the, to the rest of the structure, the permanent portion of it to the rest of the structure. Um, still kind of figuring that out at the moment. Probably what I'll end up doing is gluing along the back side uh, very loosely. And then cutting it loose and then pulling the removable portion of the nose off and then going around putting glue like just flexing it out of areas putting some high saw or glue or whatever on the structure that's in there and then putting the nose back on and then taping the seams to hold everything in alignment that's kind of what i'm thinking right now we'll see how that works as i start working all right this fit is pretty much done it's it's not the greatest uh there at the front there's a, a decent gap from apparently i sanded too much off of that um but over on the sides it is quite nice so and then even on the back which is going to be i'll do my best to get it back there for you you can see up there at the top and the sides that that bulkhead actually fits fairly well um so I'm happy with that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to work on figuring out how to get my fat arms inside of this thing so I can tack glue the, the structure or at least portions of the structure, probably be just the, the force portion of it to the inside of the nose cone. And then, um, and then we'll pull it off and Get, make sure everything else like the forward bulkhead and the rear bulkhead get those tap glued in place with probably some five minute epoxy just to get them where they need to be and hold them in place and then uh and then we'll go about cutting the the registration marks on the sides of it to where we know where to separate it once it's on the fuselage but yeah it's it's a process <laughs> 
but I think I'll save that for the next video. So until next time, y'all have a good one.